Hi. Um, yeah, I just hit him up and I said, yeah, we're recording Mom's Basement Quick Interview. He's, he's calling me about something completely different, so I'll, I'll have to wait for him to respond. But yeah, dude, I'm so hyped up for this. And yo, this is at the same location that Logan uh, versus Mayweather was at, at the Hard Rock there at the stadium. And I was wondering, uh, I'm curious, like, how was it set up? Because, like, I seen how they're going to set up this one, and it's very similar. Was it, like, a cool environment? Oh, it was fucking awesome. There were a ton of fans there. I I walked in and immediately, um, MGK, I, I hear a group of people yelling my name. I look over, it's MGK, Megan Fox, fucking Dingo from Monster, and uh, Rob Gronkowski sit, standing in line with him. I didn't even see Gronk until I went up and said hi to to Kells oh, and, and the group. Oh, that's like your hero. Dude, I fucking like... looked at him. He must have thought I was insane. I fucking looked at him. I gave him, I had to give him a hug. I'm like, oh my, I'm like, bro, I fucking love you. I'm like, I'm from Lowell, Massachusetts. And he's like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Dapped him up. Yo, got to meet him. so you. And then, and then, no, no, wait, it doesn't stop there. Then we okay. fucking, then we're down on like the floor. We're walking around. This kid, this like 16 year old kid comes up to me and he's fucking dripping. He's got fucking bust down chains around his neck like three of them he's got diamonds all over the fucking place kid's 16 years old comes up he's like hey man huge fan dash me up he's like you're from boston right i'm like yeah he's like that's my dad points over i look over it's fucking big poppy david ortiz no greatest, way. debatably the greatest fucking red sock of all time boston red sock of all time i'm like what the fuck he starts laughing i'm like dude i'm from Lowell. like you're the fuck you're a fucking legend you know what i mean you're my fucking hero dab him up and he was just stoked to see his son happy so he fucking talked to me for a little bit we took a flick that was fucking awesome um we were we sitting took a flick <laughs> dude dude mike i'm not gonna lie mike fucking malak really held it down for us he um he, we were we were two rows behind gunna uh the row behind dave portnoy we were literally right next to dave portnoy we they actually put us in the seats directly next to mr beast and his whole crew but Mr. Beast, I guess Jimmy got sick and had to fly back home. So it was um, it was Chandler and his other like, you know, his whole crew that he does the videos with. Right. Right. And then um, and then Reed, his like manager, that guy. You know what I animal. didn't you know what I didn't like about Mayweather versus uh, <laughs> Logan Paul is that there weren't really those shots of the audience. The only people I saw the in, in the audience the whole night was um, Harry Josie and Chantel. Jeffries, that was it. Oh, that's tight. Like, that they made it on air. That's cool. Yeah, they made it on air, and it's like, dude, when you have all those celebrities, because I know everybody came out for that one, and a lot of people are coming out for this. Yeah, one. they should have done that because that's what you, that's that's gonna draw people to go to these events because then then it becomes a whole experience for fans, right? Like they're like, shit, like everybody goes to these things. You know what I mean? It's well, like no, I mean just like if you bought the pay per view, you know, you want to see like if you're a Faze Banks fan, you want to see him on camera for yeah, a second, you yeah, know, like yeah. all that stuff. That's part of the experience, yeah, you know? yeah for like, sure, for sure. So well, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm going to talk to the YouTube versus TikTok people and make sure like they they catch who's in the audience or whatnot. How, how was um how was the experience on TV? Because I was I was obviously oh. I was there. How was like the how was the oh, production? We're, we're, we're going to have some goddamn rants, all right? First of all, the production was totally fine. The commentators, uh, it got sloppy. I think those guys were drinking. I'm not going to hate too much on them because I'm about to commentate for my first time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I might eat dirt, but um, yeah, the, the, the production was amazing. Absolutely amazing. The problem was, and, and you might have seen Showtime uh, trending. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw a bunch of tweets about how it was, Dude, it was down. The right, show, the Showtime app where you would buy the fifty dollars pay per view, which translates into seventy dollars after taxes and all everything else. Right, it fucking went down. How does I think that too always many, seem to happen? I don't know. Like it's you like can't every, spend. Like, there's sudden. There's such a buildup. So much goes into this. So much money. So much time. Production. All that shit. And then, like, something like an app crashing. I don't understand how that happens. Mm -hmm. <coughs> no, so, so yeah, I mean, you're, you you got people just furious, right? They paid, like, se dude, $70 is a lot of money to an average person, right? That's fucking, like, three different meals, <laughs> you know? Like, dude, yeah. that's a lot of nice meals, by the way. We're talking 30, you know? So, that people are just furious, right, at the Showtime. And I bought my pay-per-view through Showtime, right? So, I'm freaking out. I'm like, what do I... I, I put out this funny tweet. I tweeted at H3H3. I'm like, hey, you got a link? <laughs> Showtime crashed. 
because <laughs> he pirated the uh, the Jake Paul fight. But um, I had to I had to buy the pay per view again, and like I, I had to buy it off of a different platform, which was um, Feminco or some, something. And dude, I, so I tweeted that, and all these influencers started texting me, all these different YouTubers, and they're like, "Yo, does it actually work there?" So it wasn't just me; multiple people paid for the pay per view twice. Because Showtime just went down, and I don't know how they're going to reconcile that, but uh, you know, everyone well, deserves sure, a sure, refund. Yeah, I'm sure people will get a refund. Um, do we do we have any numbers or statistics on how many how many pay per views were sold? Not yet. And so, if I'm Logan Paul, if I'm Mayweather, you gotta hate Showtime. You gotta hate yeah, Showtime. Of course, of course. You gotta absolutely hate them. But uh, you know, this is what we do know. Going into it, Mayweather was guaranteed ten million dollars, and he would get fifty percent of the back end. Logan Paul guaranteed two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and he was guaranteed, I think, ten percent of the back end. But like, you know, that might seem like a lot of money, but I can I assure you that Logan Paul has probably Probably spent a million dollars for this fight, getting ready for the fight, training camp. Well, this is this uh, was a Ubers, clear like, this was a clear brand builder for Logan. I don't think like the money aspect of it. Obviously, that's the attractive part for Floyd. Probably, yeah. I would say. But for Logan, I mean, I'm I'm sure he would have done it for free. Honestly, I think well, Logan would. Paul. If you ever, if you are listening to us right now, because every once in a while you you do catch these episodes, especially when Mike's on here snaking you. Uh, I just want to say, <laughs> I just want to say, Logan, I'm like, I, 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 dude, you did something really good for all of YouTubers, yeah, that right? Was awesome. You, you know, your, your controversy back in the day, people are saying that you're bad for YouTubers. You're giving YouTubers a bad name. You have completely 180 this and, and, and even went farther dude, oh. and you gave YouTubers the greatest Man, name was, and I'm I, so, so proud of you. I was thinking about this too last night and how like he really is like the perfect example of like he just carries the essence of what a YouTuber influencer is. Like every yep. one of us at some point comes um crosses paths with some like sort of controversy or whatever and like it's wrapped up in some some, some sort of drama obviously for Log logan's example is really really extreme but like that is what that is what an influencer is you know what i mean like it's just you're you're displaying so much of your real life and your real personality that nobody's perfect you know what i mean people fuck up and that's just how how it goes when you <laughs> And, and let me go on to say this too, like Logan, if you would have went in there and, and you would have got knocked out by Floyd Mayweather, I, I wouldn't be giving you the praise that I'm giving you now. It's the the fact that you you survived, that you didn't get knocked out. The fact that you went the full eight rounds is what matters to us, right? Like, and nah, man, f honestly, fuck that. After that, dude, Logan won the first round. Like Logan, legitimately won that first round. There was this like whole slap segment where uh, Logan was just slapping Mayweather at the end, acting like real, <laughs> real. And li listen, dude, let's, we got to call it what it is. Mayweather was trolling Logan in the early rounds, but at the end of the day, he survived, right? Like, you know, and, and, it, and it made me so proud. Honestly, I, honestly, after that first round, after the first like three rounds, I was like, honestly, Logan won. Like Logan, not won in terms of like scoring or whatever, like whatever. I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. One in the sense that he could have gotten knocked out round four, and I think he still would have caught a an well, absolute Mayweather, dub. Mayweather was doing the same thing that he did with Conor McGregor. He just plays real slow in the early rounds, trying to tire his opponent out. You know, that's and that's dude. Oh KSI? my god, this is this is something that you wouldn't have been able to like catch on TV, and I, I would be surprised if the commentators didn't talk about it. But it was like slightly raining at first, like um, in yeah, the earlier yeah. fights. Um, and it's Miami, it's in Florida, so the, the humidity is fucking ridiculous, you know what I mean? It was so hot and wet and, like, just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, oh. that's something you can't plan for. These motherfuckers were boxing outside. This was hosted outside, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, it was fucking, that was crazy. Logan Logan looked so tired in the, in the later rounds. He was fucking gassing. Listen to this. I just looked up the weather. It is going to pour on June twelfth versus Wait, <laughs> Bryce is, Hall. Is there a event it's outside? It's the same location. It's oh, the same wow. location, and it's going to pour, dude. It's going to rain. And so, listen, you know, 
when I'm commentating this event, you know, I'm I'm at the store and I'm like trying to get a fitted suit and all that. And I started thinking about it. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm going to be in Miami. I can't dress up for this. Like, I'm just going to have to wear a T-shirt or whatever. And I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, guys, I'm like, oh, my God, you know, who's going to roast the ever living hell out of me? True Jordy and Joe Weller, because when they commentate these YouTube boxing events, bro, they're dressed to the nine, bro. Dripping down, Fitted yeah. suits, they, they're dripping, okay? So I tweeted directly at True Jordy last night on Twitter, and I was like, bro, I'm gonna need your permission. I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt. I'm gonna I'm gonna commentate this event <laughs> as Keemstar. And True Jordy gave me his blessing, thank God. He, he tweeted at me, he goes, you're gonna crush it. You do you, homie. That's cool that you're uh, doing that. Yeah, everybody listening to the show, obviously fans of the show, Keem stars commentating the whole thing so um dude i got i'm sitting next to real commentators like real boxing commentators so they're gonna be able to like really you know do it justice and i'm just gonna be the hype man i'm gonna be able to <laughs> you know yeah i'm gonna be able to just and yeah that's, that's the role you should play you should just you should be i mean leave the boxing stuff to the experts right and then you be the expert on the on the shit you know the social media shit like I'm sure they'll have a ton of fucking questions and like that'll be an interesting dynamic as far as like the conversation you have with the other commentators. If Jarvis knocks out Michael Lee, you know what I'm going to say? What? <laughs> you got to say, you got to throw the phase up in there. Yo, listen. Well, this is this is what I'm thinking about saying, right? I'm going to be like, Michael Lee is down. Looks like he just got shot by the phase Jarvis aimbot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they talked about they talked about Jarvis's whole Fortnite thing in the fucking documentary and stuff too. Uh, <laughs> so funny, such oh, a dude. Meme. I'm so I'm so excited. And um, when I get there, uh, I'm gonna sit down with my. I, I'm taking. I'm actually got an editor and a camera guy with me to make vlogs. So I'm down there in Florida, and I'm gonna sit down with uh with Austin and Bryce, Austin and Bryce for a drama art. And I'm just going to really lay it on both of them of what, how I think this is going to play out. And uh, we're going to see what happens. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah. You got to do that and upload that before the fight. You definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your own little, your own little interview, like a face to face with you being like the kind of like the middleman. That's fire. You know, a lot of people were like, you know, uh, you know, the Logan Mayweather thing is going to like hurt the YouTube, uh, you know, TikTok. I, I don't think so, dude. I think. It's got people excited, right? Yeah. You know, it, at the end of the day, when nobody gets knocked out, when they go the full eight, uh, eight rounds, it, it keeps the fans hungry, right? A lot of people were disappointed because nobody got knocked out. And I get that. That's the way it is always in boxing, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you're, you're always going to have that when you get to the end and, you know, there's no decision, no winner. It's a tie whatever. You've seen it with Logan Paul versus KSI yeah. in the first in the first one, yeah. right? It's you're going to have that. That you you want more, right? And so and actually, I think your, your that, philosophy is right because their second fight outsold the first one, right? Yep, yep. Which is insane because if you really think about it, they're at their first fight. That's when these guys were pulling like five million views every video, like Logan Paul and, and KS. That was like the height height of their. Oh, by the way, has anyone taken time? To see the power of KSI on YouTube recently, bro, he's this on another man, level, dude. This man is pulling like six million views of Ed. This is insane numbers, like it's wild. Yeah, yeah, he's killing it. It's so I'd love to so see. Him. I'd love him to see him get back into the boxing thing. Dude, KSI has been kind of distant recently, you know, because normally I talk to him like all the time. Yeah, bro, he's so busy. He is so busy for this album and making music videos and making songs and the, he's got a tour or something. Dude, this man is so busy. And he's yeah. like, he needs a break. The man needs a break. And I think he's training and I think he's actually training right now, too. He might Unbelievable. be. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, we're going to cut it kind of early because, you know, Banks got to head out. So yeah. And there's really, there's really, minutes. it's, it's kind of a waste. It's kind of a waste to really talk about anything else right now. This, this episode is sandwiched right between these two massive boxing events. So that's obviously what we're going to be talking about. Um, yeah, we can, we can cut it right here. Let's, let's do our little emoji thing. You guys are loving this. We're loving this. Obviously guys, this is a Spotify original Spotify exclusive show. So um, there's no there's no opportunity for you guys to comment or leave feedback on the actual Spotify app. 
So what we ask you guys to do is tweet us with an emoji for the week so we can see it and kind of filter through our tweets because me and King get a fucking shit ton of tweets. Um, so we can actually see your feedback on the show. So <clears throat> any sort of feedback, if you made it this far, the emoji this week, let's do a boxing glove naturally, right? Yeah, Sp- yeah, yeah. Spam yeah, the boxing one. glove emoji at us. Let us know what you thought about the show. Um, but also give us your predictions on like this upcoming event. <laughs> yeah, Bryce that, versus that, Austin. I would love yeah. to see that. I would love to. And I, I genuinely am interested in seeing what the masses, who the masses got in that fight. Cause I still think it's a, it's a giant question mark. Um, Did you see what? Let's give him like five more minutes of content. Did you see what Logan Paul uh, said about Bryce Hall? No. Logan Paul goes, man. He goes, man. I love Bryce, and he's always getting in fights and stuff. And, and Bryce loves fighting. He's just has no plans of winning. <laughs> He's really good at getting beat up. He goes, I don't think Bryce is gonna win. I was like, oh, that's cold. Where did he say that? <laughs> He said it somewhere uh, on, on his podcast, on, um, maybe. Yeah, I no. He said it uh, like on Instagram or something because I don't know where he said it, but KSI reacted to it, and KSI was laughing because KSI's put up like four videos just clowning on Bryce because you know it's being set up right now that KSI wants to make sure he gets a couple fights in before he faces Jake Paul. This is the thing too. And, you don't understand. Like this is a this is like draws coming from the two biggest influencer boxers too. Look, being fucking. KSI and Logan, right? They're they're getting involved yeah. in this Bryce Hall shit. They're reacting. They're making videos about it, content about it. So, I think the interest is there. I think that I think they're gonna, as long as the production's good. Bryce Hall, like obviously he worked for this by pissing everyone off. But man, is he lucky? Think about it. He got thrown into this thing with Austin. He didn't even want to box Austin, and now he's getting a $6 million check. He's being set up to fight KSI as a stepping stone <laughs> for 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 Jake Paul, uh, you know, KSI versus Jake Paul. Like, he's getting that bag. Like, yo, Bryce Hall, like, he is so lucky, dude. This guy's gonna make, like, Twenty million dollars. <laughs> People are just giving him millions. The to beat money up is on crazy. Hey, we, that is something I've don't... definitely noticed this past year too. Just the like the amount of money people are making <clears throat> on social media is going way the fuck up. It's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. And I don't think even mainstream celebrities can 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 relate. You know, think about it, dude. Like, that's that's kind of the whole that's kind of the whole message of the whole fucking show, right? We are the mainstream celebrities. Like that's a that's cringe to say. I'm not saying me, but like the influencer. Like, you know what I'm saying? We like these are the mainstream celebrities now. It's just the fact. Dude, Mr. Beast's see- YouTube channel outperforms any Netflix series, any fucking any movie that you might see on fucking Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. th- like he's he's outselling and outperforming everything, and he's a fucking Banks, individual YouTuber. Seen- Banks, I just seen a YouTube video where they were talking about like news, mainstream news outlets and how many like viewers, what the ratings are and stuff. Bro, they're talking about like 70,000 people watching a, 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 a yeah, this, news this program. podcast outperforms that like it's crazy. That, that's in That's so insane to me. It's like, wait, what? Like, dude, like, are, am I really the biggest news person <laughs> in the a, world? That's what I'm saying. I mean, you're up there. You're definitely up there, right? <laughs> That's it's that's why it's so fucking crazy. It's unbelievable. I know someone's going to be tweeting at me right now. Keep you cover drama between 14 year olds like you're not CNN or what. I get that. I totally get that. But the numbers, the numbers are just on a different level. It's insane. That's nuts. Oh, uh, we got to We got to go. Banks has to go, guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in to Mom's Basement. Um, if you're not subscribed to us on Spotify, make sure you do that. Rate it five stars. I don't even think you can do that, but figure <laughs> you out whatever you it. can. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your friends to start listening to Mom's Basement. Share it around. I don't know, man. <laughs> Spam that boxing glove emoji. We love you guys to death. Love the feedback. Um, you guys have been loving the shows, especially the ones with just me and you, which I'm fucking cool with that. Like people really yeah. fucking love when it's just me and you. Um, I'm not going to lie, dude. The, I get guests on here and I'm just like, fuck, man, just get that person out of here. Well, so, so, well, sometimes it's like it's nice to just chop it up. And I don't think we really needed needed anybody on the, on this show. It was nice to just kind of break it all down, talk about it. You know, this was great. All right, guys. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> you can tell me that I could.